the race started at exactly 6.30 in the morning on February 14, 2015. This is the beginning of Bike Sebring in Sebring, Florida. You can see the bikes racing off the starting line. There's trikes, there's regular diamond frame bikes, there's recumbent bikes, all heading out towards the track, the motor speedway. This is Jim Parker doing the narration. The camera view, that's Jim Verhuel's feet in front of you on his front forward facing camera. This is a little bit later after everybody's on the track. We are heading around the track on the actually the very last lap of three. The sun has gotten higher in the sky. Um, you're going to see Jim Verhuel make a really fast acceleration here and pass me on the inside in just a minute uh, on, as, and then head off the track to the left. There I am in the light blue helmet and there goes Jim and uh, racing ahead which was I kinda liked because I wasn't exactly sure where the left turn is but there's a nice exciting shot here where Jim shoots off the track to the left and starts to head out onto the uh, this is the last part of uh, the run to the main road that's the Chateau Elan on the right the hotel that is the host of the event we cross the checkered paint on the ground there across the uh, the public road the police are holding back traffic and now we're out on the public roads this is sometime later in the morning uh, around this time I had gotten frustrated uh, there I go in the blue helmet um, some of the diamond frame riders were very nice and friendly others seemed resentful or almost hostile towards us being out there uh, as a, that happens sometimes with uh, diamond frame riders that aren't used to riding with recumbents uh, there were four strong recumbent riders there, uh, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, those would be Jim Verhuel, who's filming this with his front-facing camera. Uh, Kevin Gamble, who is uh, going to be in here later, and Maria Parker, my wife. And uh, at this point, I had been trying to get people to uh, let me pull them, and I had been rebuffed a few times with comments like, we can't draft off you man or we don't want to draft off you so uh, at one point I just kinda of took off towards the turnaround point this is on the first 48 mile leg of the of the trip and uh, I made it to the turnaround with with Maria uh, well ahead of the pace line and started heading back and did the first few miles back by myself but it's hard for one rider to hold off a, a pace line of diamond frame riders. There I go uh, out ahead. Uh, so the the pack eventually caught me, but when they did, I, I still stayed ahead of them for a long time, just just to kind of prove a point. Uh, JV Jim Verhuel, he kind of said I shouldn't be doing that because I was wasting a lot of energy. And I should have been conserving energy, but it 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 did work out in the end. Um, there we are heading toward kind of into the sun. The pack is moving along. These are some strong riders. Uh, the average age of the diamond frame riders, I'm going to guess, was significantly younger than the recumbent riders. Our average age was about 50 in the, uh, in the group of four of us that were out there uh, racing along here. Now, I was the only one of the four recumbent riders entered in the 100 mile which gave me an advantage. I didn't have to worry about conserving energy for the 12 hour. So I was, you know, ready. I was more raring to go than the other guys. Um, so here we are heading. I can't remember if this is out towards the turnaround point or coming back. By the way, this is all at 2x speed. That's the way it was recorded. So Obviously, we aren't moving quite that fast. Our cadence really isn't 200 RPMs or whatever it looks like it is. Um, the movements of the cars aren't as sudden, so everything was a, a lot smoother and more relaxed than it than it looks like out here. But you get the you get the feel of the action. The uh, the diamond frame riders were were good at doing a rotating pace line. We couldn't really participate in that uh, with them. Uh, they didn't. They weren't used to us. They didn't really want us in their pace line, so we either had to stay out in the front or the back. And they really didn't want us in the front. They told us they didn't want us in the front. But
but that's where I ended up anyway. That's where actually all of us ended up uh, in the front at different times. So the front facing camera is about to, to run out of batteries or memory. It's just going to cut off here in a minute. Um, and then it's going to switch to JV's rear facing camera which is very interesting and you're going to see that here in just a minute. So this is the rear facing camera. This is later in the race. Now this is heading back towards the Chateau Elan. Uh, I'm going to guess this is around mile 75, 80, something like that. Maybe even 85, 90. Uh, so what you're going to witness here is very interesting. Uh, we are going to make a breakaway, the recumbents. We had finally kind of worked our way up to the front, all four of us. We, All four of us found ourselves at the front of the Diamond Frame Riders and we took off. But we weren't really organized and there we are, we've dropped the main peloton behind us. And JV is going to coach us into forming our own rotating pace line. Uh, in the meantime, they make one final valiant attack coming up on us right here um, and they they really work hard to to catch up to us and that's just as we're kinda of learning what to do with this rotating echelon and so here they come coming right up in the back of JV's rear-facing camera the guy in the black shirt says tired you, you take it for a while the guy in the yellow shirt pumping his way, coming up on us, getting close. The guy in the orange jersey is thinking about bursting around. He, he's ready to go. There's Maria, right behind JV. There's Kevin. And here comes a guy charging ahead, but he's all alone. And he's going to look around and say, mm, uh, I'm out of here. He's going to cross over and drop back. There he goes. So now the rest of this is just the four of us. There's Maria. There's me on the left. Here comes Kevin. And then we are going to do a, a good example of a rotating pace line of recumbents. There's Maria moving, moving over. JV is going to drop back right behind Maria. And we, we got a little better as, as this progressed. It's, this is not perfect or textbook by any means. There was a pretty stiff crosswind. So some of the, the kind of the jumpy lateral motion you see of, of all the bikes doing, that's uh, crosswinds. We're also working very hard at this point. And we have just really gapped the diamond frame riders. They're, they're so far back, we can't see them at all. Uh, there's Maria, there's Kevin on the left, here I come. So, it's a little bit more of that. I think if we practiced that more, we'd get even better at it. But it was very effective in terms of us working together and dropping uh, a, a pack of, of much larger, younger, very strong diamond frame riders. And the very last part of the video is here showing the finish. Go, go. And that's me coming in. Way to go, Jim! That's, that's Gary as his video shot here. And Don Hemingway is going to be the first diamond frame rider to come in on the 100. He's coming here he after that him. car. Don, Hemingway, and Maria, and Kevin, and JV all coming in together. And see, they're doing the 12 hours, so they weren't in a big hurry.